Um, I'm Kelly Kerr from Grace Lutheran Church, and this is our Tuesday children's message. So welcome, whoever is watching, whenever you're watching, welcome. I hope you enjoy the message today. Um, quick announcement before we start. This week, Pastor did his Monday message yesterday, and today I'm doing my Tuesday children's message. We will not be doing a Wednesday or Thursday message this week. For several weeks, we've each been doing a couple different message times a week, and we hope that you've really enjoyed those and gotten some comfort and um, just gotten some things out of them. But we are taking this week to take some time to look at what we've been doing, um, what maybe we want to change a little bit. Maybe there's some things we want to do a little differently. Um, to look at the many, many resources that we've been getting um, for new ways to be doing some of our ministries online during this time. So we will be taking the time to look ahead on how we're going to move forward with some of this stuff. So enjoy the message today. We will not be on the rest of the week. We will have our regular Sunday service via Zoom on Facebook Live. Um, so you can be watching for that in the GOL. And just a reminder, please, please, please be paying attention to your GOL because that is where the information is going to be. That gets emailed. Leah's been getting it out later in the week so that she really has time to make sure that she's got all the information needed. Um, and then it's going to tell you what's going to be happening for the next week. It's going to give you the link for the Zoom um, worship service. It's going to tell you if there's been changes. It's really important at this time to stay connected and be reading your grace online that gets emailed so that's my announcement um we are going to start today with a jelly bean prayer so i don't know you might have already eaten all your easter candy it was a few weeks ago um, but if you're like me there's still some lingering jelly beans in the house so i thought i would take some of my last jelly beans and make a prayer so you can do this as well if you have some leftover jelly beans you can make up your own prayer or any kind of colored candy would work too the best thing about a jelly bean prayer is that you get to eat the jelly beans as you pray i mean come on that's pretty good so i have some different colored jelly beans and i'll be using the different colors to say a thank you prayer so i have a green jelly bean a yellow jelly bean orange jelly bean, a purple jelly bean, and a red jelly bean. So you can just follow along with my prayer and maybe make one up for yourself a little later today. So we'll start with green jelly bean. Thank you God for green green grass. See? Pretty cool, huh? Next one I'm going to say, my yellow. Thank you God for warm sun on my face. Next one is orange. And I kind of thought, you know, nothing rhymes with orange. Orange is kind of unique like that. So, I'm gonna say, thank you God for making all of us unique. And the last one, no, not quite the last one, the next one's purple. And I thought since purple starts with P, I'm gonna thank God for peace during this time, for those moments of peace where we feel his presence. Thank you, Lord, for moments of peace. And the last one, my red jelly bean, reminder of the blood that was shed by Jesus. So thank you for sending your son Jesus so that we may have eternal life. And that's a jelly bean prayer. So, hope you do a jelly bean prayer. Tell me if you do. Share, share with me about your jelly bean prayer. That would be cool. So, um, I want you to take a second and I want you to think about your bedroom. And maybe you share your bedroom with some siblings or a sibling. Maybe you have your own room. But think about what makes your room special. What makes your room your room? What things do you have in your room that give you comfort? 
and that that you like having in your room. Maybe it's a favorite blanket. Maybe it's a favorite pillow or stuffed animal. Maybe it's some favorite books. Maybe it's pictures of family and friends or special things that you've made. But what makes your room your room? And I think we would all be thinking about different things. There are gonna be things in our rooms that are just ours, just special to us. And as you're thinking about that, I want you to keep some of those things in your mind as I read our story for today. And we're gonna be reading from the Spark Story Bible. And we're gonna read about Jesus talking to the disciples about God's house. And so that might be a kind of a new way to think about some things. So Jesus was talking to his disciples, Thomas and Philip. You can see in the picture there, that's Thomas and Philip. They're kind of imagining a house as Jesus is talking to them. So I will read to you. Remember, be thinking about your room. Jesus taught his disciples many things. Don't be sad or worried, he said. Believe in God and in me. God's house in heaven is so big that everyone can have a room. I'm going there to get your rooms ready. Later, I'll come back to take you to God's house. You know the way to where I'm going. Thomas and Philip looked confused. What way do you mean, they asked. Jesus said, I'm the way to know God. Because you know me, you know God too. I've taught you all about life with God and the good things that God wants you to do. Pray, ask me for anything, and I'll help you do it. Thomas and Philip smiled. We can follow you and do what you ask us to do. You are our way to heaven. We can live in God's house too. So Jesus was kind of trying to explain to them that there is room for all of us in heaven. That God, God's house is so huge. God's house has an infinite number of rooms. And, and those rooms are ready for us. Jesus is preparing those rooms. And in the way that we think about bedrooms, it might be kind of interesting to think, what would my room in heaven look like? And would it have some of the same things that I have here? Things that comfort me, things that make me feel good. But what we do know, we, might, we don't know exactly what that will feel like and what that will look like. But what we do know is that there will be room for us and that a, a way has been prepared for us to be in God's house. So you're gonna, I want you to say this with me. Okay, this is a repeat after me. And we're gonna think of one other person in our family or a friend or something and we're gonna use their name in one of those spots. So, repeat after me. I have a room in God's house. You have a room in God's house. And here's where we're going to insert somebody's name. Anna has a room in God's house. We all have a room. Activity challenge for you. So, I would really like you to show me possibly maybe what your creations are when we're done with this challenge. Um, I want you to think about what we've talked about in God's house and having a room in God's house. And this week sometime, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe another day, maybe draw a picture of what that room would look like. What would be in that room? Or draw a picture of a house. What do you think of when you think of God's house? I did a picture and I thought, well, if God's house has many, many rooms, then I better draw a lot of windows. And I wanted it to be colorful because there are so many colors in the world. So that's my drawing of God's house. Or maybe it's a drawing of what your room in God's house will look like. Or build a house with blocks. Use some blocks and create a whole big house 
What does that look like? What does God's house look like? Uh, maybe use boxes. Use some big boxes, small boxes, different sizes, and build a really cool looking house. Or build a fort. When my girls were young, we would build forts in the living room all the time. And sometimes they would stay up for several days and they would bring all of their favorite things. So the, the things in their room that they liked the best, they would bring into that fort. And so that fort was a special place for them to be. Um, so maybe you create a fort and you think about your own room in God's house and how that is waiting. We all have space in God's house. So I would love to see your creations. And that is my challenge to you for, for this week. Um, we are going to do a song now. Now there's slightly different words to this song, but you know the melody. Um, if you know the song, he's got the whole world in his hands. So he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. You guys know that song, most of you. So we're going to do it with slightly different words, though. And the words are going to be, he's got a room for you in his house. He's got a room for me in his house. He's got a room for all of us in his house. He's got a lot of rooms in his house. And then we'll sing, he's preparing a room just for you. He's preparing a room just for me. He's preparing rooms for everyone. He's got a lot of rooms in his house. All right, so let's sing that through together, okay? He's got a room for you in his house. He's got a room for me in his house. He's got rooms for all of us in his house. He's got a lot of rooms in his house. He's preparing a room just for you. He's preparing a room just for me. He's preparing rooms for everyone. He's got a lot of rooms in his house. So you can sing that song today. Um, get that in your head and have fun with that. We will close with a prayer. Um, so, this can be a repeat after me prayer. So repeat after me. Bless my house, O oh Lord, I pray. Make it safe by night and day. Bless my room that it may be a place of rest and love for me. Bless us all that one day we will be in your house, O oh Lord, with thee. Amen. All right, well, thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to maybe make a jelly bean prayer or a colored candy prayer. And don't forget to create a picture or um, a house with blocks or a fort or something to go along with thinking about God's house and all of us having room in that house. So we'll see you next week on Tuesday. The plan is that we will continue to do some Facebook Live stuff, but we may be doing some different things and adding some things. Um, so you can plan to see me next Tuesday for sure at 1.30 for a regular Facebook Live. Great to be with you today. Love you all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.